All right, people, welcome back. More Vine and Why. So today is Tuesday, and that means that we are using Labrador Bell. Uh, it's one of the few decks that's kind of graveyard reliant that's still on uh, Vine and Why, and uh, even over Supervised, because I kind of felt like, you know, if I'm going to go ahead and do Supervised play, I mean, I might as well do the Labrador plays with, you know, Ultimati and stuff. Why not? You know, why not? Because essentially, everything that I could do with Supervised, I could do with this deck better, you could say. So, we're just going to go ahead and do it up. So, I opened up pretty well. Opened up pretty well. I'll go ahead and summon Dark Greffer, Pitch, send uh, Labradite, and I can Foolish. Send Mally. I think I can go for a first turn Ultimaya. Definitely can. But, like, Yuge, just kind of worried about, you know, shit hitting the fan. But at least I have Soul Charge, so I guess that'll be okay. Effect. I will go ahead and pay costs. I drew Tear, Foolish, Soul Charge. You know, one of my fellow Yu Gi Tubers, uh, Forever Epic, uh, pretty much uh, did a video with the whole. Yes, yes, yes. That was my. Yes, that was my normal summon. Yes, that was my normal summon. I wanted normal summon, and I want to use my effect. I am using the, I am using the second effect. Uh, I got that. I know. Yeah, I got that. That was my normal summon. That was my normal summon. I am using the second effect. Really? Effect! Holy shit. I'm using the second effect to go ahead. Just cut a dark, send a dark. You don't have to fucking take my monster, put it back in my hand. Like, no. I didn't I didn't go pitch special. I did not go pitch special. Cause the special summoning of Dark Greffer is an inherent summon, which means that I pay cost special summon. That's it. There's no chain in between. But you didn't see that. I went normal summon, send. Yeah. But yeah, a fellow Yu Gi Tuba Forever Epic is like doing the test ratios and stuff on Dion. I mean, he proved that it's correct, but I mean, look at this. Look at this. Out of my, you were like, oh, it should be about, you know, we should get like one limited card in the opening. I got three. Three, man. Three. Like I said, it's crazy. And you should have probably tested it with a deck of like, you know, 40, because majority of the time you just play with a deck of 40. But, alright. Go ahead and go Mali effect. Maybe we opened up pretty decently. So we'll go ahead and go into Ultimaya. I'll go ahead and summon the Beals. Why not? Oh, let's fuck that up. Ultimaya. Set. Fat. Go ahead and summon Beals. And hopefully we won't get 101 slash cast out and get wrecked. Because that would be bad. I could probably come back into the duel, depends on how much back row he sets, and if I draw into another setable card. But there's the majority of the cards in this deck are setable. Majority of them, I must say. Like I said, I mean, monsters, like Armageddon Knight, Dark Greffer, the forms of Ubel, the Mallies, Tomato. Yeah, there's not, there's not too many non-setable cards. And there we go, we just got one. Awesome. So, nah, I'd rather not. I mean, I guess I will, but I'd rather not. I guess I'll go ahead and set, and I guess go ahead and summon Void. Yeah, it seems like a fine idea. There's really no point in me dropping another Ultima, because if I drop another Ultima, I really won't have, I don't have room to use both their effects, you know? Go ahead and go into Void Ogre. So I guess you can have the free draw, so. Oh, and then I end the battle phase. Man, fuck. <clears throat> I thought it was just that battle. You just block the battle. No, you end the battle phase. Damn, that sucks. Oh, fuck it. Might as well just get rid of it. Yep. 
finish draw, and then battle phase. And go ahead. I'm saying that I got a Beals, I got a Volio, Grandma Cat right now. Probably should have went into a clear wing actually. But at least you won't be able to take out both of them. I don't know, it depends. Who's up on resources? So I draw a monster, I can handle the situation. If I draw a back row, then that's just another summon. So Void Ogre's sitting okay. As long as he doesn't play anything on the standby phase, like a Capulse or something. Can't block that. I still have the card in my hand. But main phase, it's a monster, because I have a feeling I'm going to probably draw like a Misty Tomato Armageddon or something. So I'll just be like, you know what, fuck it. Set it and get my effect. Have my Void Ogre all ready. Probably go for Scrap Dragon, start clearing up some of this back row. Get my Dark Greffer. That is totally fun. You can have that. I don't even I'm mad at. So, I don't know why you said effect, because that effect doesn't activate. If you were going to say effect, then you would go ahead and reveal a spell card and become Cyber Dragon, but I guess you didn't want that. In my face. Main phase. Set. Effect. It's not like you can fiendish chain me or effect me because I can't be targeted, right? Cannot be targeted for attacks or by card effects while you control your single monster. Yep, so let's go ahead and go into the Scrap of Dragon. I'll go Scrap Effect, Target Beals, and that. Because that's your new card. I got some big old beefy synchro monsters. Look at that. Look at that. The power! Yeah, all, all these dragons so threatening. They're just all like, ah, I can beat that ass. I'm out for blood. I'm going to go ahead and attack with Beals. Because if you have Honest, then you'll lock the attack, but I'm just going to go up. I'm going to get. You want to start a multi chain? So, you don't want to start another chain, so attack goes through. You can go darn damage step on us. Okay, that's it, because if you want to honest me, go ahead. You'll go up to 45, I'll take that 15, but then I'm going to go up to 45, and then you're just going to go back down to your little uh, 1500 next turn. So, everything is all good in the neighborhood. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn, because I'd rather not deal with more. I can go ahead and have scrap, pop one, and then void over, negate one, pop one, negate one, pop one. Oh no, he's just going to set more back row. Okay. Cool story, bro. Stand by. Main phase. Set. Effect. Damn, and I'm just jumping his ass. I am just jumping that ass. Scrap. <laughs> uh, Solemn Warning. Cannot be targeted. So, so he's active. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that works. Oh, so he's going to Solemn Warning the Summon. Wait, do you Solemn Warning the, the monster being summoned, or do you Solemn Warning the Summoning monster? I think he would Solemn Warning my Ultimaya. I believe so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking if you warning, uh, I think you have to negate my uh, Ultimaya. Ultimaya. Because this is the enabler. You have to warning the enabler. So, for example, if I went, you know, call the haunted summon a monster, you warning the call of the haunted. You don't warning the monster being summoned. So when I set my card and I say effect to summon, you're going to go silent warning on my Ultimaya. Yeah. Yeah, you warning my Ultimaya. Yeah, you warn my Ultimaya. Yeah. And, of course, warning does not target, so... I said, my Ultimaya is the enabler. Whaler can't block me from that. Alright, I'll go ahead and go Scrap Effect. Target Fields, and this new set card. Hey, you sure got a lot of back row. But hey, that's, that's, sometimes that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you. Lots of back row. So I'm Mirror Force. The scarecrow. 
Nice chunk of card. Destroy, please. I target bills. All I have to do is target the destruction resolves on a on a monster that can't be destroyed by card effects. Like, do I do I have to link you to the Beals scrap combo? Exactly. I'm gonna target Beals. I target Beals, I target your card, destroy them both. But of course Beals cannot be destroyed by card effects, so I get a free pop. It's the Beal scrap combo. It's literally existed ever since Beals came out as a card. Exactly. I'm targeting bills. Do I need to link it? Do I need to link it to you? I can if you want me to. Like I said, I don't know why to bring this up now. I did the same thing last turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now nah, I'm good. I'm gonna go get a different duel. What you looking at? <laughs> Recording. Glad I'm away. Oh, nice name. This guy's name is Yugi Yuki Yusayuma. What about Yuya? <laughs> what about Yuya? <laughs> Yugi Yuki Yusayuma Yuya. <laughs> Sometimes you forget that you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, I made this count during Zexal. Okay. <laughs> You forget that Jaden's last name is Yuki. It's like, oh, Jaden's the other one out. Like, no, it's just his last name. <laughs> Guess I'll just go ahead and take the duel slow. He wants to take the duel slow. I'll take the duel slow. We'll take it slow. We're not gonna just jump into it. We'll go ahead and get to know each other first. Yeah. Go first date, second date, oh. third date. <laughs> take it slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead and just set that tomato. He'll kill the tomato. Some of them are getting nice. I'm getting nice. Go ahead and send me on Tamaya. Then Dark Graf. Alright, if, if I have the tomato loop, I will. I'll go ahead and keep on summoning tomatoes. I want to end on Armageddon Night. Okay. Mmm. Yep. Okay. Amadeus? TG Hyper Librarian. Amadeus would have been better, because then I would not get my effect. So, we'll go ahead and summon that Armageddon Knight. Effect. We'll go ahead and send Labradite. I guess next turn I'll go ahead and summon Dark Graffer, Pitch Dark Graffer, send Maui. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and go into like a one on one or something. It's all good in the neighborhood. Oh, it's still all good in the neighborhood. Hmm. Well, now the plays are a little bit different, people. I think I might go ahead and foolish send Mally. Summon Dark Graffer, XC into Emerald, Detach, Summon Labradite, Mally, go ahead and summon, go into Ultimaya. Silver's Cry, summon back Ultimaya, Mally, second, second Mally, summon the third Mally, go into a, a second Ultimaya, set, both of them go off, I'll go ahead and summon some Void Ogre and some Beals. That sounds like a good idea to me. So, the only way he can really stop me is that back row, so let's go ahead and see if he has it. So, see how, pl how plans change when you just draw one card? So good. So good. Foolish is good. A while a chain band. Sending monsters to the graveyard is good. <laughs> awesome. Is that okay? He's like, fuck. <laughs> go ahead and go effect. And pitch this graffer. I don't need multiple graffers. Not right now, anyway. Because I'll go ahead and send a uh, bell. Cause why not? Really, you two? Even if he stops this play right now, I'm still okay. Go ahead and summon you. 
uh, I'm gonna go ahead and announce second effect, which doesn't get used that often. It's always the first effect, but hey, sometimes I play decks that have normal monsters. Second effect, Aberdite. So melee effect, banish a melee, summon a melee. You two go into Ultimaya Tzolkin. And I will go ahead and go Mali Effect again. Banish a Mali, summon a Mali. Being like, what's like, why play Super Bison? The deck is just so much funner. Rivers Cry. Summon Labradite. Like anything that Doom Shaman and Tinker can do, this deck can do. Almost better. It can't summon Yubel and do those plays, of course. Another Ultimaya. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that that's a mandatory effect. Wait, no, no. This this, this uh, Ultimaya, Ultimaya, Ultimaya isn't a synchro summon. Synchro summon. I'm special summoning it from the deck. I'm from the extra deck. Cannot be synchro summon. Must be special summon from the extra deck by sending the above monsters. Yeah, it's not a synchro summon. I was like, wait a minute. Ultima is not a synchro summon, is it? Like, no. Nah, I'm just special summoning from the extra deck. I'll go ahead and set. It's cool. It's cool. Set. Effects. We'll go ahead and summon. I'm feeling kind of Beals is scrappish, but Void Ogre is pretty good too. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Bills and whatever. And now, sir, it is time to beat your ass, because I know it's a mirror force. He's like, fuck. <laughs> what? Ultima? Mm -hmm. You don't know what it does? Mm -hmm. uh, it's treated as a 12. You special summon it by setting uh, two level 5 or higher monsters, one that's a tuner, one that's a non-tuner. So I do Mali and uh, Labradite, which is a both level six tuners. Uh, when I when I set a card, I can special summon either a power tool or a synchro monster as level seven or eight dragon type synchro monster from my deck. It cannot be targeted for attacks or by card effects while controlling a synchro monster. So these two lock each other out. I set, they both go off. I'm summoning Void Ogre. I'm summoning Beals. <laughs> so I pretty much locked him. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm recording. Are we going to take care of our business? Yeah, yeah. Well, that one. No, huh? no, I forgot. No, I forgot. <laughs> so you made the home more peace? You said yes, that's too easy. Too easy. <laughs> Damn, that's game. Uh, all right, people. I'm done with this video because everybody's home now. Rennie's out of the shower and mom's barging in. You want to say anything appropriate, mom? You don't want to say anything? <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Sorry for the short video, but I am super busy today. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.